So what is EDC? EDC stands for everyday carry and it is basically the stuff that you have with you on your person on a daily basis and it can also include uh, extended EDC such as items in bags or pouches. Now everyone has an EDC whether they're into the hobby or not and it usually consists of wallet, keys, and phone. That's the basic thing that most people carry. Um, however, in the EDC community, it goes a little bit beyond that. So the usual components of uh, people in the community are first, obviously, the mentioned wallet, keys, and phone, and a watch usually. So you can have watch, wallet, keys, and the phone, which I'm obviously recording on, so I can't show you. And then now, uh, obviously face mask, that's what people usually have. Um, and those are all pretty self-explanatory. Watch, not always, but some people are really into watches. And then the most common thing probably is a knife. So a pocket knife like this, you know, like a bench made bug out, is very popular. The Civivi Elementum, oh, very popular knives. Um, usually there are folding knives with like a pocket clip, locking blade, uh, straight edge. That's usually what people carry. And next would be a pen. Not everyone carries a pen, but I mean, there's a bunch of kinds of pens. So there's the Fisher Space Pen Bullet, Zebra F701, Parker Jotter. Now, this is a refined EP1, but this is just like basically to represent a bolt action pen. Bolt action pens are pretty much only in the EDC community. You don't usually see uh, normal people carrying bolt action pen, or you can just carry like a cheap, big crystal pen, whatever you want. As long as it writes, pressurized ink and all that other stuff is just uh, an afterthought if you like the aesthetic or things like that. And next would be a flashlight, uh, plenty of different flashlights. You can choose one like this, uh, Streamlight MicroStream USB, uh, Olight Warrior Mini, Light SNR Baton 2, or even you know, just a small uh, keychain light like this, this little I1R2 US. And then next would be a multi tool. You can carry stuff like a Swiss Army knife, I mean, like a full size one, it's multi tool, uh, smaller size ones like these. This is the compact. Mini Champ A Lox Classic SC. This is like the most popular. Uh, small army knife. Or Leatherman Squirt. Or if you want to just carry like a full size uh, Leatherman Rebar, whatever. Whatever you want. And lastly, uh, firearms are also very popular. Uh, I don't have one personally, but I mean, I would like to have one, but I also live in California, so it's pretty self explanatory. Um, but those are like the main things you see most people have in everyday carry community. Uh, not everyone carries all of these things at the same time. Some of them do, some of them carry more, some of them carry two knives, three knives. And, you know, these are the most common components. But I will go into extended EDC and complementary items a little bit later. Uh, so what I usually carry is I'll wear my watch. Um... I'm a, well, this is usually what I carry to work, so I don't really need my wallet at work on me, so I just leave it in my backpack, my EDC backpack. And then I carry a knife. And then a pen, that's what I carry. Basically all I really need at work, and then my phone, my pockets. And then I also will have my uh, AirPods, which are right here. And um, this is just what works for me. If I'm not at work, I'll obviously have my wallet on me and then Maybe if it's if it's at nighttime, I'll definitely have um, a flashlight. And then sometimes I carry a handkerchief in my back pocket for the microfiber for my glasses. Um, so the question you probably have now is why? Why carry all this stuff? Why carry a knife? Why carry a flashlight, etc.? Well, there's a few reasons. The first one is that it's useful. I mean, you don't realize how useful some of these tools are until you start carrying them, especially if your line of work requires it. Uh, different tools will be more useful for different people. So for me, I work in an inventory slash shipping department, so having a knife is really useful for cutting open boxes, breaking down boxes, you know, you can just use a utility knife too, if you don't want to mess up your knife, or you want a cheap 
cheap utility blade. And then the pen is really useful for signing forms and you know stuff like that. Uh, for me, that's really all I need. Um, I work in the daytime inside a building, so I don't really need a flashlight. Um, if I do need a flashlight or a multi-tool though, I do obviously have them in my EDC bag, so they're right there. Um, but if you work at nighttime, if you're working outside, night shift, security, inspection, then I think you know a flashlight is really, really useful for that. And especially um, one like this, where you can go straight to turbo or strobe if you need to blind an attacker. Um, and I think, in my opinion, firearms are useful for everybody. I mean, because when you need it, like you really need it or else you're dead. So um, the second reason would be it's just cool and it's a hobby for you know all these most people who are into it. Um, I mean, like, do I really need five knives and 15 flashlights? Like, no, I don't. Um, but I'm into those things and I like to, you know, I like the tools, organization, the specs, all that stuff. And it really interests me. So, you know, I, I buy them and then also there's a collecting aspect to it. I like to collect these things. And it's the same reason why I have like multiple guitars. Like I play guitar, I have, you know, two six strings, seven string and acoustic guitar. Like they're all different. They serve different purposes. So, I mean, technically, you know, I don't need multiple flashlights, but they serve different purposes. Some are brighter, some have a side emitter, some are for my keychain, some are for, you know, pouches, bags, some for my pocket. So, you know, they all serve different purposes. Um, the last reason would be that it's like a lifestyle or a livelihood for people. So, I mean, if you are a gear YouTuber or a gear company, obviously EDC and the customers that are into EDC are a reason why you are you know, able to make money and make that your career. And um, lifestyle wise, it's it's kind of like when some people like to pick out their outfit for the day, right? Like some people like to pick out their outfit or jewelry or whatever. I like to pick out which knife I'm gonna carry, which pen um, or organize, you know, my bag, whatever it is. So, you know, I find great like joy and it's also very peaceful to pick out which knife or flashlight I'm going to carry the next day or pick out, you know, which items go into which pouch of mine. Um, and there's all different aspects of EDC, obviously knives, lights, bags, etc. And I like to research all of those. Um, sadly, it is a hobby that hurts your wallet, though. There's never a one and done. You always, your EDC will always be evolving and you always will want more. Um, so, yeah, that is one drawback, but that is with most hobbies, it's like that. So now I'm going to talk about the extended EDC and complementary items. And this is also, you know, what I could call going down the rabbit hole uh, in terms of spending. So the first thing would be a bag. So it can be a backpack, a sling bag, a fanny pack, whatever it is. It holds extra gear and expands your capabilities greatly for holding the gear. Uh, I currently rotate between a VanQuest Addict 25 backpack and a Dendrite large waist pack. I can't really show the backpack, but like this would be the i guess fanny pack i wear it like sling style well, obviously you know you wear this and then you i don't really put stuff in my pockets when i wear this because i have it all in here but it, you know obviously lets you carry much more things that are too big for your pocket um and then next would be pouches and organizers so now you have all this gear you want to keep it in a nice organized place right so people commonly use pouches like these so i have vanquist ppm slim and then the Vanquist ECM Slim. So these are kind of the standard clamshell elastic lube organizer pouches. So like this one, you know, has a bunch of tools in it or whatever miscellaneous things. I'm not gonna throw all this stuff in my pocket and I wouldn't wanna throw it all into like loose into my backpack, right? So I put it on here, you know, easy to find one compact package and I can just in and out of my backpack, right? Both of these go in my backpack. This is a first aid, first aid kit, so. That is a good alternative for just dumping things into a bag. And um, those are, obviously you can't really fit those in your pocket though. Um, so if you want to put some in your pocket, I don't have, uh, I used to have a VanQuest pocket quiver, but this is, these are Yellow Bridge Outfitters. This is the Pocket Pico and the Pocket Pro. 
uh, modern carry, and this is the Pocket Pico Classic V2. These you can kind of fit in your pocket. You can put like cards in here. There's a, there's a zipper on the back of both of them. So any like things that are like change or small things that you don't want to like fly around your pocket, you can fit a pen, knife, flashlight. This same thing on a smaller scale. But these are good. You can just put everything in here and just slip it into your pocket or your bag and it's all in one area. So it's just being loose. Um, so those are really good and another thing you can get into. And about first aid, it's also that's also a very big component of everyday carry, especially for gun owners. And if you're carrying a gun, you know, it's recommended that you should have like a trauma kit and the training to treat potential gunshot wounds and you or somebody else. Um, I don't have one, but or the training, but that'll be a part of extended EDC. Or you can carry like um, like in an ankle med kit, like around your ankle. So that's good. Um, so next would be the maintenance of your gear. So sharpeners, uh, Torx drivers, lube for your knives. Um, so like this is what I use. You have my KPL, you have, you know, the Torx driver, Loctite, all this stuff to maintain your knives, make sure they're working well. And so you can adjust them how you want them to be. Um, and for sharpening, I use, I had a work sharp guided field sharpener inside that gray pouch. And I also have, um, this Spyderco Sharp Maker and Knives Plus Strop Block. So these are what I use. I just got the, the work sharp ones. I'm trying to still figure that out. I, was, I got it so I could just take it with me. I can't really lug all that stuff around. Um, obviously, there's more advanced sharpening systems. I'm not super, super good at sharpening, but those work for me. Um, and then for your electronics, right? All these flashlights, especially Olight, they have proprietary batteries and chargers. You know, you need the magnetic charger. You need your micro USB, your USB-C, power banks, whatever it is. So for those, you know, you can have a power bank like this. And these are just useful too, because you can charge your phone or whatever. And um, here I have like a bunch of, I'm not going to take it out, but a bunch of different cables, Olight, um, Apple, USB-C, etc. So that's, you need to have those. And then if you want to use, um, lithium ion batteries or just rechargeable like analog batteries you need to have the charger for that i need to have all the batteries all and all those things um other random extras you'd have would be like handkerchiefs like i showed my handkerchief um some people like to carry lighters just, just to have fire um like hand sanitizer is good obviously the airpods uh, you can carry notebooks like field notes are pretty popular um you can also carry, like the utility knife, people some carry, they sometimes carry utility knife with their main folding knife. So if they have a job, they don't want to really mess up their their main folding knife, they'll use the utility blade. Um, pry bars, like titanium pry bars are pretty common. Um, I don't have one, but I mean, I have like a, this thing on my keys. This is kind of a good pry bar, Night Eyes Doohickey, because you never ever want to pry with your knife. Uh, challenge coins and worry stones. I don't have any of those, but like if you have like um, like a little coin you like, uh, you can pick. I mean, I kind of have that. I have like a little. I have a charm in my wallet from my girlfriend. I keep that with me. Um, and then like at home, if you want to have a valet tray, uh, I have this organizer here. This is from Daiso. I bought a bunch of stuff from Daiso Japan. And I, you know, I'll keep like some stuff here and pens and knives, whatever here. So it's kind of easy to use. Um, most people have like just a flat tray with a bunch of partitions in and you can put knives or whatever. Like when you get home, you unload your pockets. Um, so in conclusion, everyday carry is a great useful hobby and everyone is different though. So everyone has different lives and jobs and they require different tools in their daily lives. So there's no one best EDC. So you shouldn't feel pressure to carry two knives and titanium pry bar, Leatherman Surge, a Glock, Glock 43, $70 wallet, AirPods, whatever, like, whatever it is, like, you know, some people even have Rolexes in their EDC. Um, whatever it is, just because you see a very, you know, fancy Instagram post or Reddit post doesn't mean your EDC is bad if it's not as expensive as theirs. If you see, you know, they have like a $500 Microtech or, 
you know, $600 CRK, like Sebenz or something like that, you know, just because your knife is 50 bucks doesn't mean uh, yours is bad and it can't accomplish the task that you need to accomplish with it. Obviously, you know, if you have like a $5 gas station knife, like I think it's good to upgrade because you want to have something that doesn't sacrifice quality that much for the price. Because I mean, if it's not cutting things, it won't keep an edge or worse, like if it doesn't lock up and it could cut you, then obviously you want to upgrade that a little bit, but you don't have to have super, super expensive knives. Um, and you shouldn't also fall for the gimmicks of like tactical and gentlemen's marketing. Like they'll have on Amazon, like they'll say tactical, whatever it is, but it probably will be junk quality. Just like a, it's like a buzzword in the marketing or the gentleman stuff, like the subscription boxes you pay $60, $100 a month for. Um, I wouldn't fall into those marketing gimmicks too much. And you also don't want to get caught up with buying things you don't really need. So I know practice what you preach. Like I literally buy uh, stuff I don't need all the time. I'm a victim of the, the hedonistic treadmill of buying way too much unnecessary gear. Um, and every once in a while, I recommend looking through all your stuff and selling what you don't need or use. And I've done that a couple of times and it helps like, you know, minimalize what you have and also give you some extra cash. So and it also helps those who are looking for gear. Sadly, we all know that the extra money just goes back into buying more EDC gear, but um, that's a different story. So anyway, I hope this video helped and uh, gave those who are new to EDC or trying to get into the hobby uh, more understanding of what it is. Or if you're already a veteran of EDC and just want to see what my take on it is, that's great too. So stay safe and thanks for watching.